today is going to be the final episode in this modding tale to wasteland series um, we're going to be talking about removing mods adding mods um, and making a merch patch through fault in vegas edit um, i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to be doing you don't necessarily have to do this you guys can keep whatever mod you want and add whatever mod you want but i just want you to be aware that when you're running a load order that has this many plugins um, just adding mods all nilly willy is going to mess up your game you're gonna have to pick and choose very carefully which mods you want because if you add 10 more mods and you go over that limit things are just gonna start screwing up really bad so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be doing it um, like I said you don't necessarily have to remove the mods I'm removing or even add the mods I'm adding this is just my personal preference um, but to start with I'm going to be removing at least for now the let's find it over here the power armor distribution overhaul um, there are a couple bugs with it that still haven't been fixed at least that I found um, so I'm gonna just leave that in my load order for now but I'm going to unenable it um, so if it gets updated again I'll see it maybe I'll add it later um, I'm also going to be getting rid of a couple of companion mods um, let's see Um, Willow I'm getting rid of and Niner um, basically Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas have so many uh, mods or companions in them already and Russell's another cool one I'm gonna keep so um, like I said you don't have to do that um, this is gonna require to make a new merge patch on one of the mods um, the interior lighting overhaul patches I'm not gonna do that on here um, by this time you guys know how to go through and um, recreate merge patches with merge plugins standalones so I'm not going to do that on screen but um, like I said you you don't even have to necessarily disable Willow if you don't want to I, I just am to free up a little more room in my load order um, also what I'm gonna do is stop using the Lutana's beta beta and using the Lutana's just the normal version the reason I'm doing that is because there seems to be an issue with loot menu and the newest beta version so I'm just gonna keep using the standard version so that I can use loot menu again um, so yeah that's all of the mods oh no I forgot to talk about bus world um, bus world has an issue with NPCs sometimes NPCs will go in and they can't get out um, there is a way to fix it through Fallout in Vegas edit but instead of messing with it I'm just gonna go ahead and disable bus world too um, not really a huge deal for me um, it was a cool little feature but not something I necessarily need and that's all the mods I'm going to be deleting or not using that I have installed previously. Um, now I'm going to talk about the mods that I'm going to be adding and see if you guys want to check those out too. So I'll meet you guys there after I get set up for that. Alrighty, so if you guys remember in the last episode we had to get rid of Monster Mod just because there's some issues with Tale to Wastelands. Um, what I'm going to be using as alternative that for that is Mart's Mutant Mod New Vegas patch. This just patches it so that... Um, the version of March Mutant Mod that we're using actually the monsters carry over into the New Vegas Wasteland so I'm gonna be using that like I said it's optionally all this stuff is gonna be optional you don't really have to do it if you don't want um, but me personally I'm gonna be using it so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this out onto my desktop and go to mod organizer find that archive I'm just gonna name it whatever you want manual it's just an ESP so okay then you can bring this up underneath Mark's mutant mod if I can remember where I installed it there it is so just enable that and that will carry over to the Mojave wasteland um, next, I'm going to be using Cell HUD. Um, this requires Darnified UI, so which we already installed. So you won't have to worry about the fonts thing here. Yeah, so this is just talking about the any edits we made for Darn UI. So basically, you can just go over and download the version you want with Manager. There's two versions, the AP, HP um, AP Icon version which makes like a little heart and a little a lightning bolt as opposed to just spelling it out like APHP um, that's the version I'm going to be using so I'm going to download that with manager and then there's an 
update it fixes the radiation um, message window so go ahead and download that as well and then there's different styles for the HP AP bars um, so let's see if he has a picture of that I don't know it, it, I don't see a picture but it says um, bars that have more dis being distinguishable individual ticks so I'll go ahead and grab that as well um, go ahead and just download all these and then come back rewarding exploring this is a new mod that um, a lot of the new unique weapons that are added by gun runners if you have that DLC um, if you don't know in the vanilla game you just go and buy them from vendors but this mod kind of spreads them throughout the wasteland so that you'll find them through exploring I think that's a pretty cool idea so I'm gonna download that with manager as well <coughs> excuse me okay and when we installed hitman's first um, person weapon animation overhaul uh, that mod actually removes recoil or doesn't actually remove recoil it gets rid of the fake recoil system that is in the vanilla game um, there's lots of recoil mods uh, this is one I'm gonna be using because it seems to be the newest and it says that um, he made this mod kind of with that mod and with first person weapon animation overhaul in mind so I'm going to be using this one going to go over to the file section and there's a no DLC version and a DLC version so I'm going to be grabbing the one the DLC version obviously um, next one I'm going to be doing is the equipment restoration project um, I was actually planning on including this in the weapons video but I just missed it I forgot about it so I'm just going to come back and do it now so go over to the files tab this just adds by the way a ton of stuff that was taken out of the vanilla game weapons weapon mods um, some armors stuff like that so go over to the files tab and we are going to be have to, having to use the no mods version um, so this doesn't include include the removed weapon mods this is because this version is compatible with WMX so we're gonna have to be using that version so go ahead and download with manager and then it says only the eve and tell to wasteland patches are necessary so grab the eve patch and the tell to wastelands patch he has a weapons retexture project patch but it says do not use with no mods version so we're not going to be grabbing that um, also some of you probably have used pit boy replacers in the past there's a handheld one um, that i prefer but it does have some issues with tell to wastelands basically you can still use the one that you hold in your hand but you're gonna have to install it then go uninstall it on parts of the game like when you are in vault 101 and you get your pit boy for the first time it screws it up really bad so you'd have to leave it uninstalled till past that point and then I think again when you're going to New Vegas for the first time you'd have to un you'd have to uninstall it again and reinstall it so instead of messing with all that I'm just gonna get the arm mounted version of that um, so over at the files tab so let's see version 2 long awaited so the armband clips with some of my armors so it looks like he made the no armband version to try to fix some of the armor clipping I think I'll go ahead and although I don't really want it to remove that that'd be kinda of ridiculous looking I'm just gonna use the armband version a little clipping doesn't bother me so download that with manager and then lastly this this is a new mod by drag body um, basically it's the vanilla male body steel still but um, he just upped the textures so like it says textures for either vanilla males or breeze so I'm gonna be going over to the files tab and downloading that with manager okay so to make the installation a little easier here um, we're gonna download the main version with manager so on cell HUD download with manager both main files the update and the optional ESP at least that's how I'm doing it um, and first you're gonna install the main file um, set data directory here and you'll see we have textures darn interface and if you see under let's close all this up under interface we have interface shader or shared 0.dds and um, we're gonna need that for here in a minute so go ahead and hit OK and now we have the um, updated icons version so what we're gonna have to do is go over to our mod organizer folder and go to downloads and find that mod cell HUD um, AP, HP AP icons so we're gonna bring that out 
and we're going to open this up and we're going to um, first we're just going to go ahead and extract it and then we can get rid of the archive so if you remember cell HUD um, if you look at the file tree we have textures interface and then interface shared 0.dds so we're going to have to mimic that um, folder structure so when we go over to cell HUD the icons version we're going to make a new folder here first first one we're going to name is textures we can go ahead and get rid of the screenshots and the help you like reading text now we're going to move the interface shared 0.dds into textures then we're going to make another folder in here and let's see just double check we name it the correct thing so interface and now we can add this back to an archive and get rid of the folder and now we can go back into mod organizer add from archive and then that that we just created and we're just gonna name it cell HUD manual set data directory and we'll see it's the same thing so this is actually gonna replace the one we just hit merge here and that's gonna replace that file that file from the from in the original one then we have the radiation menu message textures so manual okay and merge and then we had the alternative bars okay so here are the two different options a and b um, i kind of like the a version so i'm just going to go ahead and select choice a so we can actually just go ahead and cancel that and then run the bane and okay and merge all right so we're finally done with cell hud um, i'm just going to move it up with my other hud mods so I'll just put it right below darnified UI and it should overwrite some stuff yep the compass from darn so luckily there's no ESP for that so we don't have to worry about another ESP in our load order um, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next one which is rewarding exploring um, it's just a single ESP so okay remove from view this I'm gonna move up with my quests mods Let's put it right below Alton the next we had a real recoil um, it's just an ESP as well I'll go ahead and leave that at the bottom with my um, I'll put it right below the game play tweaks we had the equipment restoration project and no mods version so manual Meshes, textures, and an ESP, okay. Then we had the patches for that mod. Go ahead and just merge those in with the main mod. And we had the Pit Boy arm or arm mounted 2500 manual. And we don't need the README. So this is actually just meshes and textures, so that's good for us. Remove from view. And we can move this up in our um, up with our uh, textures I'll just put it at the end here tweet under tweak series and then we had the high resolution male body textures we have vanilla so set data directory on vanilla and okay and we can move that up with our um, character section kind of where we just put the last one yeah I'll just put it right um, above or right below um, New Vegas Design 3 it should just overwrite some stuff there yeah. alright so that's going to do it for all the new stuff um, just enable this I think this has like three ESPs let's see what our plugin count is at 134 um, you can merge these together if you want I'm not gonna I'm probably going to merge the Eve and Tail 2 Wasteland patch together um, off camera you guys know how to merge stuff together by now if you've been watching the whole series and then I'm probably going to merge the iron sights fully and the reload sounds or excuse me the iron sights and the sneak fully together um, but for now I'm gonna do all that stuff off camera I'm also gonna fix the interior lighting overhaul patches merged off camera because that's optional if you even want to get rid of willow so I'm going to go ahead and go fix all my merge stuff and then I'll be back.
All right, guys, just wanted to hop in really quick and tell you the last mod I'm going to be downloading is a title screen for Tale of Two Wastelands. Um, I'll leave a link to this as well, but go over to the link, download it. Wait, dirt. Wait for it to finish up. Bring it out onto your desktop. Open mod organizer. Name it whatever you want. Manual. Just some textures. Okay. I'm going to move this up a little bit. I'll move it at the very end of my texture stuff. Which looks like right between the companion overhaul and hectoral eddy. It should overwrite some stuff from NMC. Yep. Alright, so also I'm downloading Autumn Leaves. It's a quest mod. Uh, basically a newer one I wanted to test out. You can download that if you want. Once it's done, I'm just going to move it up into my quest stuff. So once that finishes up, I will come back and show you guys how to make a merch patch. Alrighty, so I have everything set up the way I want it set up. And I'm at 135 plugins, um, which would actually be 136. So I'm right about where I want to be personally. You may have like one or two more than that and you may have even less than that um, but basically the first thing we're going to want to do is run loot to make sure everything gets sorted correctly <laughs> and apply that alrighty once that's done just go through and make sure you don't have any little exclamation marks in here and everything looks good and then we're going to run Fallout New Vegas edit leave every single plugin checked here hit OK alright so once you get this little message background loader finished we can scroll go over to the left pane here scroll down to the bottom highlight the last mod which in this case is realistic wasteland lighting enhanced patches merged right click other and then hit create merged patch and we're just gonna name it merge patch and OK give it a second and you'll see over here merge patch now you can open this up and you can look at stuff in here um, this is the simplest form of a merge patch you can make um, there are, you can go into more stuff here I'm not going to be doing it it's there are so many videos out there already I'll leave a link to my preferred one in the description which is done by dirty weasel media for you guys to check out if you want to um, this is what I'm going to be doing. I may go through and do the more advanced stuff on my own, but I'm not going to be showing that on this camera. So go ahead and hit exit out and just leave that enabled and hit OK. So now I think this is in our overwrites. Let's see. Yep, merge patch. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on overwrite. Let's see if it'll let us bring this out under our desktop, actually. Yep, so you can just drag that out of the overwrite folder. You can drag it out onto your desktop, and then you can create a new folder. Just name it Merge Patch. Put that ESP in there, and then add it to an archive. Now you can go back over to Mod Organizer, find that archive, and hit Manual. There we go. Set data directory and OK. Now this always has to be last in your load order. So make sure you leave it last there. Also guys, forgot to mention this when I was doing it. Um, the merge patch. You do need to recreate a merge patch every time you add or remove a mod from your load order. Um, so keep that in mind if you're adding or removing mods. Just get rid of the one you have currently. By deleting it and then going into Fallout New Vegas edit and redoing that simple process again. So another thing I wanted to talk about really quick was um, the Worlds of Tomorrow step guy hosted by I think you pronounce it Adonis. Um, he's a guy that's active over on the Tale of Two Wastelands website and um, here obviously. And this guide that he created for modding Tale of Two Wastelands is a godsend. Um, most of my tutorials was just me um, explaining this in as simple as a fashion as I possibly could. Um, reading all of this and telling you guys basically and showing you guys how to do it. 
Um, <clears throat> there are some differences in our guides, though. Uh, mostly, once you get past the um, creature section and the NPCs, well, I did the clutter and mist too. A lot of the stuff and uh, like quests and stuff are different. But yeah, and I also didn't use all the stuff he used. But go check this page out. Um, if you know how to contact him, give him a big thanks. This this was a huge, huge help for me. Also, um, Fear and Loathing in New Vegas is a step guide for New Vegas. Um, it doesn't have to do with Tale Two Wastelands, but I did use this as a reference for merging my mods and for a reference on the weapons of the new millennia and um, the additional weapon packs. So go and check that out as well. Um, I'm going to leave links to both of these in the description. So yeah, thank you guys. Um, another huge thank you to the guys over at Tale of Two Wastelands. Um, I use the chat a lot to ask for help on stuff. Um, huge, huge thank you to, uh, let's see, Roy Batty. He is another huge help from the website, um, but all the guys in general that worked on Tale of Two Wastelands, thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave a link to Roy's Twitch channel in the description as well. Go and check that out. He's always uh, either creating a mod or playing Fallout New Vegas as well. So, yep. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this series. Um, I hope you found everything helpful up to this point. I hope everything's working good for you. I should warn you, um, when you're running Fallout New Vegas modded with this many plugins, things can get kind of iffy. You're going to run into bugs. You may get a crash every now and then. Um, and the best way to troubleshoot that, if you're getting continuous crashes in the same place and you know it's not just uh, something that's crashing your game, it's a problem, go through your mods. And the only way, unfortunately, to do it, the best way, is um, to just go through and unenable all the mods. If you think you might know what it is, try that one first. Um, but just go in order, delete or removing five mods or ten mods at a time until you figure out what it is. If you see in this video, um, my guy checking, like, the way his his, his um, ammo condition and or his weapon condition and his ammo that's another mod I didn't talk about here because you have to create a separate account for a modding website called Gun Network. Um, also, if you go into first person while you're checking it, you'll see in the in the video here shortly it gets a little funky. Or excuse me, if you go into third person while checking, it gets a little funky. Um, but I'm gonna keep using it. I really like it. I think it's immersive. Um, but yeah, if you want to check that out, it's by Hitman over on Gun Network. Also, guys, for your in-game um, mod configuration menu settings, um, some of the stuff on there is going to be defaulted to zero. So, like, for example, Mark's Mutant Mod you see in this video. If you go over and click on it and hit the default button, it will set that stuff to the default things that, um, by the mod creator. So I recommend doing that if you're not gonna go through and uh, like on some of the other stuff it's pretty easy to just to go through and manually set it the way you want it but on some things like that it's better to just go ahead and hit default alright guys so lastly I'm gonna talk about the future of Fallout New Vegas um, a lot of people may think that these games are kind of at the end of their life cycle like they're the modding might be dying out well that's not the case um, if you haven't heard of mods called the Frontier or Project B42 you need to go check those out. Um, they're going to be some of the best mods ever created for this game, and they're going to keep the game alive for sure. I mean, the game's still well and alive. The modding scene is. So yeah, to wrap things up, um, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through this whole thing. Um, I know I have a pretty small following, but if you guys want to see anything specifically from me in the future, let me know. The only thing I have coming down the pipe right now is a NB tutorial for Fallout New Vegas. Um, I mean, I always have new ideas and stuff, but yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in my future stuff.